What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people always ask me, Truth, what started the whole war? What's going on? Why is these killings going on? Why is all these beefings going on? Why is all these dissing going on? Why is all these rappers dying in Chicago? What is like the war? What started this? I didn't hear plenty of blogs I didn't drop before telling you. You know, I kind of think the war started a long time ago. As I said in the blog previously, I believe a lot of this shit started like in the 70s. But a lot of people tend to pinpoint like the 90s or like the end of the 80s. You know, the war always been here. You ask people, some people say locking up the gang members, the gangs not having no structures, tearing down the projects, putting people in those communities, you know, who was about that money shit. I think all that is the honest truth. I get this, the city of Al Capone, it always been crooked things, it's a little weird out here. I understand that, but a lot of people be speaking as far as like with the young people. Why the young people so crazy? Why they so wild? I see it, I hear it. Um, but it's hard to kind of speak on that because it's so many things and I don't want to mislead nobody by telling them one thing. So today I am going to tell you about one thing though, you know, I speak with a lot of people. I've been doing this blog shit for a while. I'm like a drill historian, you know, so i be talking to people on camera and off camera. I actually get an opportunity to interview people off camera more than I do on camera. People tell me what's plaguing their communities, the things that's going on in their neighborhoods, the wars, the beef, the killings. And I'm going to tell you the one thing that's always have a parallel, the one thing that's always similar, the one thing that I hear from a lot of people. And I want to tell you guys this. I don't think it was one thing that started the war. I think a lot of those things were here. I think a lot of people was beefing with each other, especially like the BDK, GDK war. That's what a lot of people always ask me about. And to be honest with you, I tell people that shit been here for a long time. Back during people setting each other up, you know, those two cliques had wars going on way before the internet knew about it. Um, but it was a little respect in that shit. People knew who they was beefing with. People knew who their enemies were. Was you know it was people from like St. Lawrence, Eberhard, and shit like that that used to be on 64th and King Drive, used to be by O Block, used to be in the O, and there's people who used to be in the O who used to be on 64th, who used to be on Eberhard. I done spoke with a lot of people who told me King Von used to be down there. He used to hang with a lot of those guys and shit down there. You seen Fat Shawty talk about him getting in a fight with Joey and things like that. Uh, you can clearly hear Ocho saying FBG Duck used to be in the O, him and Tuka and shit like that. You know, we hear in a lot of interviews, a lot of people say these guys are relatives. People know each other and shit like that. So, you know, uh, when I hear the BDK, GDK war, a lot of people don't understand that. It always been like one of those wars, but it was respect. People knew who they was beefing with, like I just said. I think what took this shit over the top, and a lot of people I speak with has told me this was... The internet, you know, the internet is what plagued the communities and took these wars to a level that made it where every community missing like 10, 11, 12 people, especially in the rap communities. Every neighborhood has about 10 people who lost their life due to gun violence. And a lot of it is linked to the drill music, not to diss the drill music because it is street shit, but... This rap shit is street shit. You know, you call them rappers, but a lot of these guys are street people. You know, they just happen to rap, you know? So I just don't think people understand that it always been issues in those communities but i think once it hit the internet it took that shit all the way up here to a level it was different when you had one instigator Ooh. now you got three million people saying oh it kind of run people blood up now people dropping diss songs dissing dead people smoking dead ops laughing about deaths cracking jokes about people who was loved by a lot of people I think that did raise the anger up. You know, like I say, I can't pinpoint it to just that. But it is a lot of things, you know. A lot of people tend to put a lot of this shit on the bloggers and shit like that. But you have to understand, those jobs like bloggers and shit like that was created through the violence that went on. And people wanted to know about it because the news wasn't giving you the full realness. You know how you cut on that Channel 5 news and that guy sit down and say, How you doing? My name is Tom today. And this is the Channel 5 news. You know. You know that ain't the real way of news people want to know what's going on in their communities when they open up the door when they walk to the stores when they walk to their kids to school when they're going to visit someone they want to make sure they're not in the bad community they want to know what's all them shootings in the hood about so that developed the blogger industry you know 
the war, the killings developed that, you know, and it's just news that people really want to hear. This is the real world. But I always tell people that I believe like the GD, BDK, I believe that always been here. But I think the Internet took it to a level that took it crazy. You know what I'm saying? I do believe it still would be deaths without the Internet, but I believe the deaths probably would be right here. You know, I do believe people will still be down. I believe when Instagram, you know, YouTube, and when Chief Keef started blowing up off the music, telling them drill stories and shit, I think shit started getting disrespectful, and it took the murder rate to right here, in my opinion. That's just in my opinion. I could be wrong. But like I say, it ain't just the rap music. It's a lot of other shit, too. Like, y'all need to raise y'all kids writing some more shit, too. But uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate the love. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. Bleh, 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 bleh.